Welcome to the Wright Mobile Consultant videos. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to fully utilize the footprint, customize your windows, and change your footprint details. To begin, let's scroll down to the bottom of the footprint and select the information icon. Scroll up to see your options. The first one is your grid scale. I'd like you to think of the grid scale as the grid scale multiplier. As you draw your walls in the footprint, each box is going to get multiplied by this grid scale. Your grid scale's options range from 1 to 10. The higher your grid scale, the larger your footprint. The smaller your grid scale, the smaller the footprint. The next row is your equipment sensible heat ratio. This controls your target tonnage in the upper right hand side. The sensible load at the top in blue is divided by the equipment sensible heat ratio to determine the target tonnage in the upper right hand side. As you adjust this number, the tonnage will change. The next line down is your language. The last row here is your reports. You can choose up to seven different reports. This can be changed now or it can be changed later before you're ready to email this to yourself or to the client. After you have selected which reports you want, select the Done button and select Done one more time to return to the footprint. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the footprint. We have the company logo that allows you to start a new job, clear your footprint. What this does is it clears the entire footprint, all the levels that you've drawn, but it keeps all of the customer details and building details. Open allows you to open up existing projects. Saves backs up the information of your current project that you're in. Save as is something that you do when you start a new job and you want to save it for the first time. Save template is what you do when you want to save your default template, such as your company information, your most common weather information. Email allows you to email your reports to yourself or to the customer. Help gives you information about the screen that you're in. And exit exits out of the menu. To the right of the company logo is the orientation. This is the direction that North faces. As you change this, your cooling load will also update. To the right of the orientation is the button that changes from room mode to window mode. We have to have a room drawn first, so we'll come back to this. Next is the level that you're working on. You can work up to three levels in Wright Mobile Consultant. I'm going to start on the first floor. To begin, you're going to start drawing your first level. My suggestion is that you stay away from the origin 00, zero just in case you have a north bump out or a west bump out. Start somewhere away from the origin. I'm going to strategically start in the top left corner of my floor. There is no click and drag here. You tap over the corners of your room and you keep going in a clockwise pattern until you come back to the original starting point. As you close in the shape, the program is automatically going to calculate the total square feet, the wall area, and your window area. The default window area is set in the detail screen. That is something that you can adjust later. In the event that a wall is either too short or too long, you have to move each corner of that wall. For example, if my north wall is too short and it needs to be 34 instead of 32, I will tap over the top right corner, move it one more box to the right, click over the bottom right corner, and then move it one box to the right. Let's assume you want to add a bump out after you've closed in your space. I'm going to tap over the edit point, move it out four feet, tap anywhere over this wall, move it to the desired place, tap one more time over my wall, and move that to the desired place. There's my bump out. Deleting a bump out is just as easy as creating it. I'm going to take the bottom right corner of my bump out, tap it once, tap it twice to get rid of it, click over my top right corner, tap it once, and then move it in four feet to the left. I have an extra point here. To get rid of that, I'll tap over it twice. One, two and now that's gone. The reason why you do not see a door shape in the footprint is because ACCA does not calculate a different load based on orientation. 
a solid door is going to have the same load regardless of what orientation it faces. Let's move on to the second floor. Let's scroll down, select the second floor. As you'll see, the first floor gets locked. The difference in color represents that it's a locked layer. You can continue to draw over this, starting at the top left hand side, and working in an organized pattern, such as clockwise direction or counterclockwise. It's your choice. Once you've closed in the shape for the second floor, you're ready to move to the next step. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the footprint and switch over to window mode. Tap over this shape, and now we're in window mode. As you can see, the program is automatically calculating the window area based on the amount of either wall area or floor area. Each one of these windows can be adjusted. To adjust a window, tap over the window. This brings up the window details. Your options are to keep it at automatic, change it to manual, or tell it that there's no window at all. Changing it to manual allows you to change the window width and the window height. You can also change your window type, frame material, store material, configuration and foreground. You can change it from a flat window to a bay to a garden, and you can also change the foreground as well. I'm going to leave it at default. You can change your internal shading here. As you change it from none to any kind of shading, the closing percentage on the right hand side will appear. This is the amount that the window is shaded. Next you have insect screen in percent coverage. The next row stands for external sunscreen shading coefficient. The most common type application here is a window covering that's applied on the exterior of a window and that reduces the amount of sunlight that passes through the window. Over to the right is the percentage coverage. The next row is overhang horizontal projection. If you've got a porch or an awning that stretches over the window, this is your horizontal projection. The length of the edge from the face of the window and the overhang vertical separation is the distance from the top of the window to the bottom of the overhang. The last row here is NFRC rated. This stands for National Fenestration Rating Council. You check this off when you know what the exact solar heat gain coefficient and the exact U value is of a window. When you are done setting your window details, come up to the right and select Done. You can continue on to modify each type of window as necessary. If there is more than one window type on the same wall orientation, you have to change over to Room Mode first at the bottom of the footprint, click once over the wall, click away from the wall, and then back and the program will split that wall up into two window types. Now you can change each individual window as necessary. If for any reason you want to change this back to one window instead of two separate windows, double tap over this edit point. The program will delete that edit point, combine the two windows into one, and then you can change that individual window as necessary. Above the footprint, you can see your heating load at the top left, your sensible load in blue, your latent load in green, and your total tonnage on the right-hand side. With every change that you make, Wright Mobile Consultant is updating your load information through the WrightSoft server. Every now and then, you may see a blinking yellow light flash. This means that the information is getting processed on the WrightSoft server, once it completed the calculation process, it will show you a green light. On the far right hand side is your tonnage. As discussed earlier, the sensible heat ratio will change your target tonnage. The higher your sensible heat ratio of your equipment, the lower your tonnage will be. The lower your sensible heat ratio of your equipment, the higher your tonnage will be. Remember, the sensible load is divided by the sensible heat ratio to determine your target tonnage. This completes how to fully utilize the footprint screen video. For all of your technical inquiries, please contact our support department at 781-862-8719 extension 2. To purchase or renew your Wright Mobile Consultant license, please contact our sales department at 1-800-225-8697 extension 3. You can also visit us on the web at www.rightsoft.com. Thank you for watching.